Trout's tail flicked lazily, and his eyes were watchful, waiting. The other fish in Rippling River darted about anxiously watching the sky. It grew darker and darker. What was coming? What was coming? Silent and watchful, Trout waited under the overhanging bank, his slowly waving tail holding him against the current. Along the bank, the branches of the trees lashed about as the wind blew in all directions. Great dark clouds covered the sun and raced across the sky. Trout lay still, waiting. The wind blew even stronger. Branches crashed down and the surface of the water rolled and tossed. The sky darkened till it was night at midday. Trout hung there, patiently waiting. Slowly the storm passed. The river gurgled gently. Trout moved expectantly. Surely he would see it. Suddenly, the sun broke from behind a cloud and a shining world began to appear. Trout trembled. There it was. There it was. A shining arc across the sky. The rainbow. To Trout, it was the most beautiful thing in the world. His tail lashed wildly as he swam towards it. Finally, gathering all his strength, he flung his shining silvery body high in the sky. Just as he started to fall, he grabbed the rainbow in his mouth. As he fell, pulling the rainbow behind him, he twisted round and round until he looked like a gorgeous, multicolored ball as he dropped back into the river. Over and over he rolled. Round and round he swam, the colors swirling and whirling about him until, exhausted, he settled for the night, wrapped in his beautiful blanket of color. The next morning, the sun rose slowly over the horizon and surveyed the glistening world. Startled, the sun looked around. What had happened? What had happened? The sky, the grass, the trees, the river, nothing was right. Everything was a dull, muddy, gray-brown. What had happened to the colors? The sun shone brighter and brighter, turning her rays first this way and then that. But the world still stayed a dull gray. Where are the colors? Where are the beautiful colors? Quickly, said the sun, get me the rainbow and then the colors will be right. But the rainbow was not to be found. The sun cried out, who has stolen the rainbow? All the animals and birds looked at one another, but no one knew. Again, in a loud, stern voice, the sun called, who has stolen the rainbow? She called so loudly this time that even the fishes heard. Who dared tell the sun? They looked from one to the other. 
no one moved. Then a small, slim perch swam to the surface. Sun, sun, the rainbow is here. It's here with trout inside it. In a terrible voice, Sun commanded Trout to return the rainbow. Reluctantly, swirling his beautiful garment, Trout rose to the surface. Slowly, he unwound the shimmering ribbon of color. Angrily, the sun snatched the rainbow. She sorted the colors, and finally, the world looked right again. When she had finished, sun shone down strongly on the river. Fishes, she called, come to the surface and hear what I have to say. Trout has been selfish. Because he has tried to keep so much beauty for himself, he must be punished. Trout will wear the rainbow he loved so much forevermore. He will wear it on his side for all to enjoy, but hidden from his own eyes forever. <laughs>